I don't own a vacuum sealer, and here's what I do instead. Works pretty good for me, but Adam's telling me there's a better way to handle this task. <laughs> Julia, I roll all the way back in the head. That's kind of sad. We are gonna set you up with a countertop vacuum sealer that will save you the meat breath from now on. <laughs> we tested five different sealers. We got them for a price range of about $60 to $382. And they all work in pretty much the same way. The food goes into a specially designed bag. The bag goes into the machine. There's a chamber here with a little gasket and there's a port in the chamber. The bag goes over a heat bar, goes into that chamber, you seal it up, you hit the button and off it goes. So what's happening is there's a port inside of that chamber that is sucking the air out. Plastic is tightening around the food. There's a little indication about when the vacuum cycle is complete. When it is complete, what will happen is that heat bar that we put the plastic over will heat up and seal the plastic. And then you have a nicely sealed container of coffee. Look so at there's that. not a little dude in there with a straw. There's not a little dude in there with a straw. Let me tell you about the tests. Testers vacuum sealed strawberries, which are very delicate, ground coffee like we just did, ground mm -hmm. beef, chicken leg quarters, steaks, and individual portions of lasagna, and those all got stored in the freezer. They vacuum sealed cereal and pretzels, which got stored at room temperature in the pantry, and they also vacuum sealed chunks of butternut squash, which they cooked sous vide. In addition to the food, testers also sealed in these. Hmm. These are oxygen sensing tabs. They're pink when there's no oxygen around. They turn purple when there is oxygen, which would indicate a leaky seal. Beyond that, they also tested the vacuum power with a vacuum gauge. That is cool. Check that out. Now that gets rated from zero to 100. Zero is normal atmosphere. 100% is every last molecule of air oh. is absent. Most of these machines performed within a range of 68 to 78%. One enthusiastic editor with a straw, I'm not naming names, <laughs> got 30% of the air out of the bag. Now, most of these performed really well, actually. We checked the food over a period of months, periodically. All of the food in the pantry, that being the cereal and the pretzels, Condition unchanged, wow. which is to say it was great after four months. In the freezer, the coffee looked great, the strawberries looked great, the lasagna looked great. So based on just performance, we could recommend any of these, but none of these machines are gonna get used if they're tricky or hard to use. So controls, we wanted those to be simple and straightforward. A lid that was easy to open and shut. They also determined that having an automatic mode and a manual mode is totally necessary. And it was nice to have like a pulse feature or a gentle feature. So when you're doing delicate foods like cereal or strawberries or something like that, you have more control over the suction. In the end, this model that we used in the demo at the beginning, Stole the show. This is the Nesco Deluxe Vacuum Sealer. We got it for about 90 bucks. It ticked all of our boxes. It worked really well. It was easy to use. We knew when the lid was shut and secure. And also it only weighs about six pounds, so it's mm. really easy to pick up and stash in a drawer somewhere when you're not using it. So it sounds like if you store a lot of stuff in the freezer like I do, this is gonna help prevent a lot of freezer burn. Definitely, and you can retire your straw. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. If you're in the market for a new vacuum sealer, check out the Nesco Deluxe Vacuum Sealer for about $90. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.